what's up? So I, guess, I just got done watching this uh, interview here with uh, the Awakened Brave and the Zen Man. Oh, this was some good shit. I had never actually uh, looked into or uh, been introduced at all to uh, the Awakened Brave before this, so I'm excited to uh, dig into some of his stuff. Uh, yeah, he seems like a pretty cool cat. Uh, a lot of fucking energy. And he said he was 55. And, uh, damn. Okay, he's looking, uh, pretty youthful for his age. But, uh, he also wanted some, uh, recommendations from the viewers about some stuff. So, I thought I'd throw in my two cents here. Um, if you guys could be a little bit more polite, I think you'd probably reach more people. Like, uh, you know, the slang and the curse words, that's going to really turn people off. So you got to really be careful. And don't let your ego, like, uh, you know, flare up. Because you guys are uh, very egotistical at times. And it's a, it's a real turn off. Uh, especially, uh, the Awakened Brave, like, that guy, that guy triggers me. <clears throat> okay, no, I'm, I'm just fucking around. Uh, no, I really appreciate the, uh, the rawness that, uh, well, both of these guys have, but this is kind of like the first time I've watched anything from the Awakened Brave, so, uh, yeah, it's a real cat, man. He reminds me of, uh, well, obviously, because of the uh, accent and whatnot, but he reminds me of uh, <coughs> Skyhopper, actually. And also just the demeanor, because, I mean, even though they both both have that British uh, kind of language and syntax, uh, linguistics and mentalities, uh, they both also have that energy of, you know, you don't like what I'm presenting, fuck off. <laughs> you know? Uh and uh they're very real and authentic and they don't they don't mean to they also don't give a fuck like if they're gonna piss someone off because they're they're they know like their authenticity and they're they're just being real i mean if you dig it you dig it uh if you don't uh find something you do dig then if you feel the need to troll <laughs> or uh you know get offended then uh that's that's on you because these cats are out here to uh, help us, enlighten us, but mainly remind us, like, of what it is to be a real, genuine person. And a lot of times, that's not going to come off all fluffy and love and light, because a lot of times people need that smack a little bit to wake them up, to uh, wake them up from their fucking days that they're in. To, to remind them of the ignorance that they have succumbed to. <clears throat> so yeah, bravo to both you guys. Uh, I hope you, I hope you guys do another one because this was fucking awesome. And just like Zen said, like the two and a half hours, whatever it was, flew by just because of the uh, how these guys flow and uh, connect. It's like it's it's almost like as a viewer you are uh taken into the mentality of uh videos like these and people like these and uh you share that realm of time with them. And it's a it's a it's a realm of no time. And that's why after it's done you're like, Whoa shit, how long? <laughs> no, but uh the awakened brave man, like I'm I'm looking forward to digging into some of your stuff and uh you say you work out and stuff, and uh, your uh, karate background, combat karate, like, bro, hell yeah, man, definitely into that. Uh, he said he's, he was saying something about Zen's uh, audio and using a mic, but uh, and I think Zen kind of caught this at the end that it's it's more of a connection thing. So yeah, like uh, I heard you loud and clear, man. You sounded good, both you guys. Uh, There's just some connection uh, issues at, at times. So, I mean, if, uh, 
Zen being on the mobile, if you could find like a, a better hotspot or whatnot, like that that should solve that. Uh, it would be interesting if you guys like did some live stuff as well. But I mean, this was fucking awesome too. So uh, more of this, you know, more of this, uh, more more of anything, uh, anything from you guys is fucking awesome. And then also, <laughs> uh, I think I think I caught the name Aaron. If unless unless I heard, uh, I thought I heard Alan, but I'm pretty sure it's Aaron, uh, the Awakened Braves. Uh, he said he kind of like grew up from that mentality, or both these guys actually, of uh, being very uh, like bullet point oriented and whatnot. But uh, yeah, my recommendation is kind of just what what Zen was saying, like just go with the flow and whatever whatever comes up, man. That's that's what comes up. Like that's 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 how things are gonna come off as more authentic and. Uh, you're gonna attract more real motherfuckers because they're gonna they're gonna feel that authenticity. So yeah, just just flow with it, allow it to happen. Uh, what I would recommend, maybe like if you do get ideas from other people, uh, viewers and whatnot, uh, yeah, just just uh, have a list like on the side of things, like possible things that if, if you wanna if you wanna talk about that, if it does come up, if it doesn't, yeah, just. I don't know, just have ideas, like, on the side or something. But, yeah, don't don't even worry about that. I mean, unless there's things that, of course, you know, in life, we're gonna, we need to go with uh, or what inspires, uh, inspires us. So, uh, go with what inspires you. If, it's, if a topic comes up, just dive into that. But, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. Uh, bravo to you cool cats. And, uh, yeah, I also wanted to say, like, uh, this is the second time I saw Zen on an interview. And, uh, I just want to encourage him to keep on doing it. Because seeing his interactions with people, it's, it's, uh, it's awesome. And it's, uh, it's refreshing. Especially being around, like, so much bullshit and people not being real with each other. Wearing the masks, uh, seeing seeing people take off that mask and just be real and laugh and have fun, and uh, just let it be. Yeah, it's that's fucking awesome. So yeah, nice job, fellas. Keep it up. <laughs>